we'll see the next problem that is negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by 4 first we'll group the first two integers and then we'll group the last two integers that is minus 1 into minus 2 group together multiplied by minus 3 into 4 group together to find the product of negative 1 and negative 2 first we multiply their values regardless of their signs that gives 1 into 2 is equals to 2 when we multiply two similar signs we always get a positive sign that is plus 2 and then to find the product of negative 3 and 4 first we multiply their values regardless of their signs that is 3 into 4 gives 12 when we multiply two different signs we always get a negative sign that is minus 12 therefore we have to find plus 2 into minus 12 for this first we will multiply their values regardless of their signs that gives 2 into 12 is equals to 24 and when we have two different signs the product always gives a negative sign that is equals to minus 24 therefore negative 1 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative 3 multiplied by 4 gives negative 24 we will see the next problem that is negative 3 multiplied by negative 6 which is multiplied by negative 2 it is multiplied by negative 1 first we will group the first two integers and then we will group the last two integers that is equals to negative 3 into negative 6 group together multiplied by negative 2 into negative 1 group together to find the product of negative 3 and negative 6 first we multiply their values regardless of their signs that is 3 into 6 gives 18 when we multiply two similar signs we always get a positive sign that is equals to plus 18 to find the product of negative 2 and negative 1 first we multiply their values regardless of their signs that is 2 into 1 gives 2 when we multiply two similar signs we always get a positive sign that is plus 2 now we have to find plus 18 into plus 2 it gives plus 36 therefore negative 3 into negative 6 multiplied by negative 2 multiplied by negative 1 gives plus 36